Hello everyone and welcome back to a bit of a different video today. So I decided to go through every single mod I use on Payday 2 and explain how it's like used like when it comes to settings and stuff like that. And probably a few other things here and there that people ask a lot in my comments section. Because why not? First things first on the list, I'm going to uh, get, get out of the way, is what menu music I use. Because I still remember I, get, I used to get comments like that all the time. So if you don't know how to get to the custom menu music or whatever, you go options, sound, and then right here, custom menu playlist. Um, if you have things unticked, then it won't happen. It won't be there on the list. But custom menu tracks with the one just below it is how you change it. Choose whatever you want is right here. Click on the name to go through the menu like that, or you can just scroll through yourself. So I guess I should point out real quick as well. Every single mod that I have requires Super BLT and Vidlib. So just make sure if you're actually going to install any of these mods, you need those two things if you don't have them already anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so the first mod on my list, I'm going to go through BLT mods first and then mod overrides because mod overrides are a bit more like minor and subtle mods. So let's go through BLT first. So first thing on the list is my HUD. So I actually only recently decided to get a HUD. I didn't want something that will clutter up the screen too much. So I went for Vanilla HUD Plus. For about two years, I, well, a year, one or two years, let's say that, I had no HUD. I was just sticking to Vanilla HUD because it was just fine. I'm just gonna come in here and say that is not true. I didn't have the Vanilla HUD for that long. I had the Hotline Miami HUD for that long. But yeah, I decided to go for Vanilla HUD Plus. I'm still going through and customizing things, but the main thing I did was scale the HUD down a little bit so it's smaller and disable a bunch of things. The tab stats right here, I'll show you in game right now. So with this tab menu thing, I have it on right now. And when you press tab, it gives you all that information, which I personally don't want to see. It just gives you the total damage you have, killed bulldozers, killed cloakers, killed shields, snipers, all that stuff. Um, and yeah, I personally just don't want to see that, so I have that off. So I just turned it off just then, and you can see it's a lot more cleaner. You can change the your teammates laser pointers which i have changed because the amount of times i have like saw a red laser pointer that because someone uh, someone else has a red laser and the amount of times i've seen that and i turn around and expect a freaking sniper i just can't count how many times that has happened so i changed my teammates laser pointers to white also i just realized i changed it to green not white but yeah, you know. So the last tab right here, which I'll go through right now, there's a lot more other things, but the last thing I'll go through right here, you can skip things. This is just called the skip options, or skip it options or whatever. Um, you can auto pick cards. If you do this, you can have it a random right, left or center. I don't really care. I just, I rather pick it myself. Card delay. I don't know what that even means. Instant reset, skip black screen. I think this one right here, when you load into a match or into a heist like this, it instantly skips it. So you don't need to hold enter or whatever by itself. So I like, I like that option. So anyway, that is my HUD. Like I said, there's a lot more things here to go through. I rather not go through it all because like I said, there is a lot of things here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should I should mention one thing as well. The little buff thing down here, you can see that little circle on the bottom of my, my screen. This HUD can do that, but I have another mod that does that for me. The mod is extra heist information or info, let's say. This mod updates a lot, so it's really up to date. So it's the things right here and down here. So I currently have it where it's in the uh, left corner, but you can move it any way you want as you can see you can scale it up if you want to this is text scale but i wouldn't suggest making the text too big because it'll go outside the screen as you can see right there and this is the actual scale so if you make the text too big you'll look like that <laughs> so i wouldn't suggest doing that i wouldn't really suggest making this massive too because yeah <laughs> so i think there's six enemies on the map there you go there's a the drill time <laughs> like i said i wouldn't really suggest making it like that big but Again, options there, so. And it even has like VR 
um, scalability, which I don't know how that works because I don't use mods in VR. Another thing as well, if you highlight something like right here, it, it shows in yellow what it is, what you're like select. So that's really, really cool. Like show timers right here, whatever is yellow, that's what show timers is. Show looped cameras. Now it's there. I personally take that off because again, I got another thing that does that for me. <laughs> Buffs. This is the thing I was talking about down here. This is what I use. You can scale it up, scale it down, blah, blah, doesn't really matter. Um, you can put it any way you want. You can put it, you can make them squares or circles and the, the buffs that come up, you can have from like a bunch of different skills, mastermind, enforce the stuff like overkill the duration of overkill the duration of underdog you can have stuff in ghost like six cents basically i guess that's the only thing that's there and then fugitive which is like swung song uh berserker blah 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 i have it all ticked so it doesn't really matter and you can do the same thing with every single perk deck that has stuff like this which again, I keep tick. Um, you can have dodge chance and crit chance right here, which I don't use really because I don't use dodge. So, <laughs> but if you have dodge and if you use dodge and crits, then there you go. I think that's about it for this mod. It's just basically, like it says, information. So it just gives you extra information about the heist and your teammates, which I really like. So this next mod, I actually only recently downloaded but I actually love it. I don't know how you freaking pronounce that, honestly, but I just say cinematic flash hit or hit flash, whatever. So recently Payday 2 or Overkill, let's say, um, recently came out with more options when it comes to what the flash is when you get hit or take damage. They recently came out with new options or whatever, but personally, I still think this mod is supreme compared to the default options. So yeah, it's subtle and I just love it like that. So basically, every time you get hit, you have that little effect on the screen. And it's just that. Simple. Uh, with the mod, you can increase and decrease the duration of the flash. So if you max this out, now it should last a lot longer. Which it does. Personally, don't really like it like that. But yeah, simple mod, and I just love it like that. Wait, what? Why is that in the floor? <laughs> this one is giving me like three mods in one, basically. <laughs> so first off is the custom heist. This is one of my favorite custom heists. Basically, you can spawn any enemy in the game. Wait, from here. You can spawn anything you want. They appear right here. They do not shoot you. They just sit there. No matter what you do to them, they just don't shoot. You can kill them. Test weapons out. Test damage, blah, blah, blah. Um, and over here, we have the AIs behind a green screen. So this, this is really good for thumbnails. This is what I use for thumbnails, <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, right here, we have different like animations for them. Animations right there, we've got casual right here. This guy's having a drink. <laughs> Cover. Uh, yeah, we have all that. Then we have idle. This guy's sitting. This guy is there and this will move this moves on to the next mod i have which is the free camera mod this can only work offline by the way so you can't use this online because it's cheaty but yeah if you install it you press f9 on your keyboard which brings up this so you press f to go through this menu then press c to go through the other menu this one over here um has movement speed turn speed which I'll turn down the movement speed is self-explanatory if you put it up you can go a lot faster if you put it down you're really slow and this is what I use for thumbnails like just like that if I want a different pose then there you go there's another one I put another one like this there you go but to go through the menu you press F like I said and you use the scroll wheel to go through them this is FOV you can change the FOV to 110 or zoom all the way in that's one FOV so yeah <laughs> And yeah, <laughs> I don't know why you wanna you wanna do that, but the option's there. Next option is the game speed, which just turns the game speed up so they move faster. You can have it fast or have it slow. Now it's slow motion. So the other options we have, which by pressing C you can access, 
you can pause the game and right here i think you can either press enter yeah you can either press enter or just click your mouse for it to work you can see this is moving if i click my mouse now it's pause. next option which was drop player you can see my player is just arms right here that's this is how it is but if i can just do that i can just drop my player any way i want if I have that select any other option I have which I don't know what it is I don't really use it but you can you can do that if you select it you can control your arms and the camera will stay steady because said I don't use this but yeah it's an option there <laughs> you can press F9 to uh, get rid of that too I mean if you can see your body then this option will be so much more useful but you can't so like so I don't really have a use for it but yeah options there so all right moving on to the next one straight away which was the radio menu visual visualizer i don't know <laughs> it's a weird mod so this mod right here will give you access to a bunch of menus in your mod key binds right here see all these right here just a bunch of menus which you can assign to a key bind on your keyboard and it basically just does stuff like this it doesn't work so anyway this mod Hey, bro. Basically allows you to, yeah, say things Hello. in the game. What's up? We're not here to harm anyone. We're after this bank's money, not yours. Your money is insured by the federal government, okay? You're not gonna lose a dime. Think of your loved ones. Don't try to be a hero. Just stay down and stay quiet, and this will be over in no time. Sons of bitches. Ugh. Thanks. Keep an eye open for the manager. Black suited creep. Losing a bit up top. It's a joker, boys. Get his key card. Taser spotted. It's a cloaker. Snipe, snipe. I'm blind, bro. Fuck you. Sweep the place. Kill him. This is it. Where's that goddamn manager? So you, you get the point. You basically go through the sound files of every single character. And they have their own hey, unique things. Hello. What's up? Hello. Hey, bro. Hello. So another thing as well, um, I have this bound to my numpad because I don't use it at all in Payday. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do that then. Damn, this hurts like fuck, man. And also my arrow keys. No, 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 no. Uh, is Bane. They spotted you. Think we're about to get outgunned. You kill civilians like this, and we're gonna lose all of our cash paying cleaner costs. I'm just gonna mention too as well. Uh, with the Bane ones, everyone can hear it. Yes! The captain will pull this one out! Same thing with these things right here. Charged and ready. Let Elite Taser stay clear. Everyone can hear it. And I should say as well, there is two menus that are high specific. So I have those as five and four on my numpad. So these ones right here are just for this heist and nothing else. So if you go to another one, you'll be different. So just to show you the high specific ones, I, I am on Panic Room right now, which is actually has one of the funnier ones on this list. One of the funniest things. So it's right here. You can see number five and four. I haven't bound to that, but once you install a mod, there's nothing here. So you can bind it yourself. But yeah, now this one, like I said, has the funniest one. For some reason, this is in the game. It's simply labeled Bile's Death. So I think I was, I think I saw this on a live stream once. Like I was playing um, with people on a live stream and I saw this here. I'm like, why is this even in the game? Did they actually plan to like kill Bile at one point? But they just never did and just didn't get rid of the voice lines. Where's my backup? <laughs> um, the Bile's Death sound is on other heists but i honestly forgot which ones all i know was panic room was one of them so yeah anyway let's move on to another mod another mod i have that is essential in my opinion is custom fov i have it set to 1.8 now think about it. i think in the description of my videos i think i have i have it on 1.7 well, i say i have it's on 1.7 but it's on 1.8 so <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why custom FOV is essential in my opinion is if you have the default settings when it comes to FOV, which is right here. This is the default settings 
in game if you don't have custom FOV, which in my opinion hurts my eyes already. I simply just install this mod and flip it to 1.8 or 1.7 and there you go. So much better. Like you can you can see you can see this red car over here when it comes to the custom FOV and if you have the default settings just you can't even see it. You can see the van and the tree over there and that's about it. So it's just so much better to use custom FOV because of that reason. You can see so much more. So straight away I'm going to say next mod is this one right here. Advanced crosshair, hit marker and hit sound. I don't actually use the crosshair that much because I just don't need it. I don't use the hit sound that much anymore. Ooh at all really i only use hit marker <laughs> which again i like very very default settings like the hit marker ones are on a very default setting so moving on to the next one which was view model again i have these on default i don't really change the settings too much because it will take too freaking long to do it because once you change this it doesn't show you straight away so you have to reset the game or reset the highest amount every single time you do a change so i prefer just to keep it simple so I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison right now to what it looks like with the mod and then without the mod. Honestly, I don't know if it's going to make a big difference because it's been so long since I've uh, not used this mod. So I don't really know if it's a big difference or not. So I guess I'll find it in the edit. <laughs> but yeah, the differences are right here. So let's move on to the next mod. So another mod that I really like is called Player Info, Lobby Player Info, but I just now realized the website that it comes from is actually not, doesn't exist anymore. You can, you can still look it up, but it's on another website. Um, what it basically does is show you what skills they have. You can see right here, or how much skills they have right here, and what perk deck they are using. It also tells you, oh, I forgot to mention too, this is another thing that Vanilla HUD does. It tells you their weapon, melee, throwable, uh, armor, and then mask and deployable. Like all the things here. This does look really different. Wow. Anyway, so the play info as well tells you the information on the right side. That's another reason why with the vanilla HUD, I got rid of the info there because I have this mod replacing it because I can see if someone is hacking or not. So the last mod when it comes to uh, B or T mods I have is Better Assault Indicator, which again is one of those subtle mods that changes how assault waves are displayed on your screen. But again, I just love it. There is a lot of options, but it's mainly just like color and stuff like that. But this is all the options here. You can go through it and do whatever, but what I have right here, when it comes to the assault, Thing. You can have the different color with mutations on as well. So mutation is regular. You can have different colors, but I think I have mostly default. And as you can see on the top right, you can see that's the um, thing. It tells you what like phase we are in. If it's building or whatever it says right now. It tells you the amount of time we have left in the assault changing. We have 10 seconds. Now it says 5 seconds, and now it's going to change to that. The assault wave is now in progress in the build phase. You get to kill 600, what did it say? 600 and something enemies for the next wave. 649 enemies kill, then time as well. So if you kill 643 enemies, the next wave will start. So it's just nice to know how many people you have to kill and how much time you have left to get to the next wave. Just realized it changed, so now it is suspense or whatever that says. I don't know what that says. <laughs> Why are you here? Bruh, you realize there's a bloody assault going on right now? <laughs> you just sitting there wanting to gamble? So yeah, that, that's that mod. Let's move on. So the last mod I'm going to mention before I go into mod overrides is a mod that doesn't actually go into your mod overrides or your BOT mods. It goes into your like pd2 directory. So I can't actually find this mod. I will find it later, but I don't know what the name it is. I don't know what the name of the mod is. So <laughs> I'll have it on screen or in one of the little chapters on YouTube. So, but if I can't find it, I guess I'll just say. So this mod, once you install it, you press the home button on your keyboard and it brings up this menu right here 
Basically, it's like a reshading type of mod. And if you noticed already, this is what the game looks like <laughs> by default. But I have a tint on it, which makes it look like this. I, I just, I prefer it looks like this. So there's a lot of options in this mod, but I personally just prefer to have tint and then nothing else. And some of them do uh, either fail or take a while to go through. Like that one just failed. <laughs> I guess it sh I guess I should mention too that all these options, literally every single one of them, have a bunch of options in themselves. Same thing with the tint, which is the thing I use. I have it on full, but you can have it down 50% or max, or you can change the tint itself. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so that's that. So let's move on to mod overrides, shall we? So the mod overrides I have are like fairly subtle. Like for example, the time I did the Predator pack ages ago, I decided to keep the reskins for the deployables. So I have those. <laughs> I think I mentioned in the description that I only have the deployables. So this is the Every ammo. That's what it looks like in game. And then the doctor bag. Medic bag first aid kits. Need a first aid kit? Looks like this. C4 looks like this with the laser which you can change to sensor or explosive. Sentry guns look like this. And then body bag, body bag cases right actually look the same because there's no reskin for them so body bag cases are the same. And finally ECMs are this. I guess while I'm here as well, I should mention that another subtle mod I have is a different animation for the flashbang, but I think it works for every single other, um, like throwable as well. So with the mod, this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like without the mod. So that's why I prefer it with the mod because it just looks so much better. I guess while I'm here, real quick, I can mention that the other mod I have is our enemy health info. We can You can just see on top of the thing, you can see their HP, the dozer. You can see their HP right there and the more you shoot them, the more it goes down. In, in my opinion, it's basically useless, but it's nice to know to see like, especially on like one down or whatever death sentence, uh, to see what enemy has how much HP. So you just know which one just like target and not target or stuff like that. So another mod on the list is the background right here, which is the warm color menu. I just prefer it because I just like the colors of, of this. I've had it for God, I've had it for years, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> this is another mod that's sticking with me forever, honestly. Because while I'm in the menu, I'll mention that I also have the Beecroft character pack, which replaces um, Bodhi. Nope, replaces Duke. <laughs> Not Bodhi. I was Bodhi before. But yeah, Beecroft character pack replaces um, Duke. I made a, a whole video dedicated to this character pack before, so I think it was actually one of my very first videos of this year. Now I think about it. But uh, I have it. If you want to go see more detail about this character pack, go ahead and look, look at that video. So the next mod on the list is better menu loading screens, I guess, or better loading screens. So every time you go into a heist, it shows you that loading screen. It basically changes that. There is three options for this mod. Um, there is vanilla, like mod, the vanilla black and white, and there's like a cinematic one. I have chose the vanilla because I have this menu mod that makes it purple anyway. So, or purple bluish color. So I chose a black and white one because I got that menu mod conflicting with that, which yeah. <laughs> so that's how I have it. So another subtle mod I have on my list is the key card highlight. Personally, it is really annoying to search the entire map just to find a key card to open the door. So. I just have this highlight mod, which you can see the keycard literally anywhere on the map, so you can pick it up. And funny, and fun little fact, there is a keycard up there. We'd look at the free camera mod, there's a keycard right there. 
<laughs> this fun little fact for you. Anyway, moving on. The last mod I have on my list is just something that's um, meant for fun. I think this is like the only like joke-ish type mod I have. And it basically replaces the names for the employees of car shop. So it's just uh, car shop puns employees names thing it was something like that but but basically it replaces every single name with something else so a downside to this mod is if Go you're on, online right that was really close <laughs> if you're online and someone comes in here and reads off the name right here it will be different to you so they'll probably say a name but it doesn't match what it says right here basically so that's the one downside why is there so many guards <laughs> that's the one downside of this mod is if you do this online, either have to let them do it or you have to come in here and see what the name is and then go. But I, at the same time, I wouldn't really recommend playing Car Shop on public uh, stealth games because I know that from experience. <laughs> it's horrible. Let's go down here and see what the other names are, shall we? Boxton is this one. Wait, what does it say? Robin Banks. <laughs> Jackpot. Where's my favorite one? There you are. That's my favorite one. Crispy Bacon. <laughs> That's my favorite name. <laughs> so that is every single mod that I use currently on Payday 2. So yeah, I hope you guys liked that video and hopefully it answers questions as well about the mods I use. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.